Good morning, everybody. We hope you've had a wonderful week. Today, we're going to talk about what we need to do to be prepared for certain things. For example, to prepare for a test at school, you've got to study. If you're preparing for a vacation, your parents have to make hotel reservations. You got to pack up the stuff that you need, like your clothes and maybe your favorite toys. And you need to plan if you're going to do any fun activities on your vacation. Today, we're going to be talking about how we stand up for Jesus. That's something we need to be prepared for, too. We will all face times when it's hard to stand up for Jesus. And if we're not prepared, we might fail. We'll learn about a man named Stephen and how he was prepared to share his faith and take a stand for Jesus. Before we get into our lesson, let's pray. Join me in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the many blessings that you give us, Lord. We thank you for the blessings of mothers and how we celebrate them today, Lord. And we ask that you be of each and every mother in this different situation, the way we're celebrating this year, but help us to be able to let them know um, how much they're loved. Please be with us as we go through your word. Help us to uh, be able to take the lesson and apply it to our lives so we can uh, better serve you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, today's Bible passage comes from the book of Acts, chapter 6 through verse 8, verse 8, chapter 6, verse 8, through chapter 7, verse 60. So there's a very long bunch of verses that we're going to be doing. And it's right in here. It goes on for a couple pages. Acts is about the amazing actions of the first Christians. This passage is about a man named Stephen who told some important people about Jesus. But these people didn't like what Stephen had to say. Acts 6, 8 says Stephen was a man full of God's grace and power who did great wonders and miracle signs, miraculous signs, that is, among the people. I'm going to tell you what happened to Stephen today's Bible package, but I'm going to need your help. Please do these two things when I tell you the passage. Whenever you hear Stephen's name, I want you to shout, Jesus is Lord. Whenever you hear me mention the religious leaders or Miss Kim doing these things also, shake your head like you're accusing someone of doing something wrong. Our puppets are going to help us practice with you, so we're going to practice, and the puppets are going to help us today. So, so when you hear Stephen, Jesus is Lord, and the religious leaders, Okay, let's get started. Stephen, Jesus is Lord, was a godly man. And God gave Stephen, Jesus is Lord, the power to do great wonders and miraculous signs. But there were some religious leaders. Who didn't like the things Stephen was. Jesus is Lord, was doing or saying. These religious leaders stirred up the people against Stephen. Jesus is Lord, saying that Stephen, Jesus is Lord, said things against Moses and against God. So these religious leaders brought Stephen, Jesus is Lord, in front of a meeting of other religious leaders and asked Stephen, Jesus is Lord about these things. Stephen's Jesus is Lord answer to them did not make them happy. In fact, it made them really angry. Stephen Jesus is Lord told the religious leaders That they were just like their ancestors who wouldn't listen to the Holy Spirit. Their ancestors tried to kill prophets. And the religious leaders tried 
try to kill prophets. Their ancestors did kill prophets who told Jesus is coming, and now these men had killed Jesus. Stephen, Jesus is Lord, then told them that they had received the laws of Moses, but they didn't obey it. Boy, the religious leaders. were angry. Stephen, Jesus is Lord, was full of the Holy Spirit, and he looked up to heaven and saw Jesus with God. The religious leaders became even angrier, and they threw Stephen, Jesus is Lord, out of the city and stoned him. That means they threw stones at him until he was dead. Even though the crowd kept throwing stones at Stephen, Jesus is Lord. He stood up for Jesus and didn't get angry at the crowd. In fact, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then the last thing Stephen, Jesus is Lord said was, Lord, do not hold these sins against them. Stephen was willing to stand up and share his faith in Jesus, no matter what it cost him. We stand up for Jesus, too, when we share our faith with others. And it's important to remember that we share our faith in Jesus with both words and actions. Look at the family, my Bible fun page. And we're not writing or drawing this week, so Miss Kim can hold it up. So if you don't have one, you can just look at the one she's going to show you. We're just thinking about different things going on and how we can share our faith in Jesus. How can we share our faith in Jesus if we're playing ball? Or with our parents when we're eating? Or during a soccer match, what would make it hard for you to stand up and share your faith in these situations on the My Bible Fun page? Today we've learned that we share our faith in Jesus with words and actions, and that it's always important to be prepared. When we stand up for Jesus, we don't want to be rude or mean, because that will make people not like Jesus. We always want to make sure that people know how much Jesus loves them. Our key verse today tells us what we need to do to be prepared to share our faith, which means to tell others about Jesus. Let's take a look at it. Our verse is 1 Peter 3, 15. And it says, But in your heart set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you, to give the reason that you have hope, but do this with gentleness and respect. We can always be ready to share our faith in Jesus. Just as Stephen was prepared, like Stephen, we stand up for Jesus. Now let's look at our daily challenges and how we can stand up for Jesus this week. So on the back of your sheet, we'll, we'll post these for those that want to download them. Do something bold for Jesus, even if it means people might make fun of you. Ask your parent or another adult about a time when he or she stood up for Jesus. Write an answer to this question. What is the reason that you have hope in Jesus? And share it with a friend. Stephen stood up for Jesus, and he was killed for doing that. When we stand up for Jesus, People might make fun of us, or they might decide that they don't want to be our friends. But you know what? It's worth it, because Jesus is what our lives are all about. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope that your moms are having a wonderful Mother's Day today. Wish happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day to all of the moms. And we miss y'all, and we'll hope to see you soon. And let's pray before we go. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the many wonderful blessings you give us. We thank you for your words this morning, uh, telling us about how Stephen stood up for you, Lord, and how he was that example. 
Help us to stand up for you too. Help us to be the type of uh, people that others can see Jesus in us and they want to have that as well. Please be with our pastor and Pastor Blaine, Lord. Uh, be with the many needs on the prayer list. We have lots. We're having different surgeries this week and we had a couple of members that lost loved ones. We just ask that you comfort them and be with them. And be with everybody that's trying to get through this situation with the virus, Lord, and how we've been quarantined. But now that's starting to ease up restrictions and help our leaders to be wise in the decisions they make. And that we'll be able to come out of this safely, but get things going again. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye. See y'all next week. <laughs>